Next skater on the ice, as you heard from Canada, Kevin Reynolds. Vancouver man originally, that's where he was born. Burnaby is where he trains. 12th place after the short program, but he did some damage in the short. Yes, he did. He did a quad style triple toe and a quad toe. Turning to the world for the first time since the Olympic season, had some injuries. Strong outing at Skate Canada, winning his first Grand Prix medal. Here he goes. Again, a skater that struggles with his artistic score. But he does like a quad. He'll be trying four in this free skate. Quad South have double toe loop to start. Something that Kevin often has trouble with on those quads is slight under rotations and because his technique is so quick it's sometimes very hard to see yes watch for the flow out of his quad sometimes he kind of scratches the ice and it doesn't give him room for that second jump for the combination quad toe triple toe much better Kevin actually was the first man ever to land two quads in a short program. So he started all this crazy. <laughs> so he's <laughs> responsible for this. It, it has become a different sport in so many ways. When you look back to 2010, an Olympic champion without a quad and what there is now, you have to have multiple quads. Another quad south how there. That's three. Artistically, Kevin has stayed very much on the same plane since the beginning of his senior career. Definitely lives in his own little world artistically. His coach, Joanne McLeod, worked with one of the most artistic skaters ever to grace men's figure skating, Emmanuel Sandu, back in the day. And you would have hoped that some of that would have inspired Kevin a bit more, but it really is still all about getting those jumps done and pacing for those jumps. I'm going to disagree with you, Johnny. I find there has been improvement since last year when it comes to his artistry. Here's another quad, quad toe. Holds on to that one. planning to put a triple loop on the end of it. Combination very difficult that he's done before. Putting it in there, the triple flip, triple loop. You are not the most artistic skater. The music you che choose is so important. And I think that this free skate suits him. It's a little bit slower. Now it's picking up, but it's a little bit slower and gives him time to get those extensions and lines that he needs to hit a bit better. But he just, still needs improvement. I just find there's been no expression until the very end here. This last choreographic step sequence really 
rolled over with the shoulders. I don't find it pleasing artistically, personally, but that's what figure skating is. Differences of opinions on the artistic side of it. He went for it. I think that the, the judges, the caller is going to go back and look at the landings to make sure he got full rotation on those quads and on some of his triples. Remember Tim Gable rattling the figure skating world doing three quads in a free skate. Now we've got four, five, maybe Twelfth place after the short program, Kevin Reynolds waiting for his marks. Remember Patrick Chan is third. Those numbers together add up. We'll see. This, the quad south cow double toe loop, under rotated on the quad south. The technique is so fast. Watch again here. Quad toe loop, nice and clean there. But his technique is so quick that it's hard really to see, except from in slow mo, if something is under rotated. Right, you have to look for the blade. It has to hit flat to the ice. As it stands right now, Canada would have two spots at the Olympics. But if you could move up here, hope that Chan maybe wins, comes in second. We'll see. 169.40, so first in the free skate. Great technical score. The presentation score obviously lacking, but a little bit better for Kevin. And now the numbers added together, 253.84, and into first place overall. So doing a quick check of the numbers. Chan, he stayed in third. They should get three. We'll see. We'll wait and see how that final group turns out.